Hey guys, Silva here. Today we're talking about buffets. That's okay, it's recording. World Gourmet, Fremont, California, 3.7 stars, and a couple exits away, Newark Buffet, 4.1 stars. So I had a, I usually have good experience at Newark Buffet. One time I had a not so nice experience. They wouldn't give me the coupon. They, get, they got two dollars off coupon on their website at the time, it was a couple of years ago. And they um, they wanted me to print it out and it was, I didn't have a printer and to use their printer it cost two dollars and it was uh, kind of embarrassing. I was with my friend here they have a worse review i think i mean what the people say the staff was kind of rude but when i went there you know i didn't really deal with the staff much much but i didn't think they were actually not not now i think back this the staff was um more than a little rude so that's why the 3.7 stars here the I guess the service is a little better. Um, yeah, I, I went here one time, maybe like 10 years ago. And, um, you know, I was getting the, um, you know, they were cooking my food. I forget what I was cooking, maybe like a swordfish steak or something. And um, after a couple of minutes, five or seven minutes I went back to the uh, the chef and I was like hey is it my steak ready something in there uh, he <laughs> he grabbed the food and just threw it on my plate I think there was a tip jar of course I'm not going to give a tip and uh, I think he was mad I didn't give a tip um he was like a 20 something, 30 something year old Asian man. And here, Newark Buffet, yeah, they embarrassed my friend, my, um, one of my clients. Uh, we were asking for a $2 discount, like their website says, and they wouldn't give it to us. And we spent a lot. And my friend actually tipped the waiter, like a pretty generous tip, which. So, and we were arguing with the, we were arguing with the hostess. It was a messy situation. But here, I think they have less seafood than World Gourmet is going to have more seafood, in, in my experience. Uh, let's see, World Gourmet people I've mentioned the food is so horrible, dry. Um, I think the I think the um on the weekends I think it's twenty six twenty seven dollars I don't know if that's I think the Newark buffet is uh, a little bit less expensive I think uh, the food tea staff was rude argued really didn't know refills presentation of food looked good. But the food tastes gross. I mean, the food was fine when I went there. I think they maybe have new management. We argue about the tip. Was charged dinner prices for lunch. That's a good tactic for them to make more money. Ate two bites and left. Horrible, greasy food. I like the grease. Very expensive. Yeah, it's not the it's not the cheapest. I had to check the price and looked at the. Uh, let's see. Okay. Food is bland, so mediocre. Server was okay. Sushi was super basic and bland. Also a lot cold. I switched out. Can't really expect much in this place if you guys want to know. Yeah, for for years, World Gourmet was behind Newark. But recently, I think they gotten they gotten a little better. Five months ago, no food, food warmers empty, people walking around, empty plates, all things Chinese, fried rice, food. Basically, well, we went right when it opened, like at 
11 a.m. and there was plenty of food. Food was absolutely horrible. Been sitting so long. Okay, you you gotta go first thing in the. <laughs> you gotta go for brunch. You gotta go at 11 a.m. If you wait longer, this food's in there. So she means this bullshit, not fresh. You found a piece of hair fried on the. Oh yeah, they they have this like a stir fresh stir fry. You put like mushrooms. Um. Well, they didn't have squid because I would but like beef and pork and bacon and, and they fried up for you and so that was good that was fresh oh. um, like a Mexican chef would fry it up for me the guy that's cutting up this sashimi doesn't replace the bed of salad on the plate which has just been sitting there they give everyone gloves to use when selecting the food but I don't really but don't really mind it. Yeah, there's a there's a box of gloves at the beginning of the sushi place, which is nice to uh, help uh, eliminate the uh, spread of uh, COVID. Got the runs the entire day from the spoiled food. Yep, I got the runs too from this place. Not not from this place, but my son is over the buffet. Felt like throwing. Tw Throwing towards the end is me as we want to the bathroom. Shovel. Uh, I think the restroom's a little bit cleaner here than here. Uh, I'm saying this bill feel like got robbed. Let's see. Lunch. Weekend lunch, $20 for an adult. Yeah, three dollars for soda. No, that's way too much. Oh. Most relevant, uh, newest. Okay, let's see if they say most of the foods are overcooked. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Had a great experience. There's a big suction food and it was clean. Yeah. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Great food, many choices. Food. Food is good. More food. food. Once in a while, smoker sports craving. Yeah. You know, the, um, the bad reviews there. <laughs> More engineers. Customer experience is great. Friendly staff. Nice tapioca grill. You can choose your veggies and protein for them to cook as it was hot pot um, teriyaki. Hmm. Fresh products and the vegan kid. Don't. Food is so horrible. Okay. 